Hi everyone, welcome back. It is the Bent Knitter. So today's going to be a little bit of a show and tell. I've been working a lot on different projects. So most recently, I've been working on a blanket, which I just finished, and it came out lovely. Um, I'm really liking the Karen cakes, especially the big cakes that I used for these. I used about two and a third, two and a half, so it was quite a bit. It's about 1,200 yards, so a lot of yard yarn. I have a lot left over for a different project which is pretty cool but I like I know I said it before but I like how it transitions from color to color. Um, it's a nice easy transition it doesn't jump from one to the other and they do have a very nice color palette so it blends really well. So I'm really happy I really suggest it. I'll actually put links down in the description below if anyone's interested in taking a look at them I highly recommend that you do so on to another my next project is going to be another blanket at home um, I'm going to be using a little bit smaller cakes if you can tell so these ones are going to be um, encore. Ooh. so these ones are mainly acrylic with some wool thrown into it so which I'm excited for I've done a little bit I've just started on it so I don't really have much to show um, but once I get a little bit more I'll be able to show off the pattern um, I'm trying to do different patterns um, even though it's mainly knitting and purling still I try to mix it up just to do something different and interesting with the larger projects um, I do recommend getting like a stitch, di stitch dictionary like I have it's so nice because you can play around, you can do something big, something small, and you kind of go from there. So I highly recommend it. Um, if you're interested in what I have, I can let you guys know in the next video. So let me know in the comments below. But what I'm most excited about is was I was actually in California going to um, VidCon. So I was actually up by Los Angeles. Um, Alex. So I actually was able to f see my friend Lee. Now if you don't remember I actually got some a pack of fiber for her to spin and she was able to she finished it. She able, was able to spin everything. She got, said she got about 200 yards. This is it. I was able to cake it which I'm very excited. So it's gonna be a two ply yarn which is gonna be awesome. So it was very interesting to pick her brain because apparently not all fiber knits up this uh, spins the same she actually had some more trouble with this uh, with the pocket fiber uh, than what she usually works with so it was interesting to kind of hear about that I definitely want to get some other wool to kind of play around with and you know for her to spin and play around with um, I'm probably gonna do a poll on what to use uh, this for I um, I'm not quite sure yet um, but like I said, I think she said I had a little over 200 yards, so we'll see what I can do with that. But it is still super soft. Um, it's brown, but they're, the nice thing about the fiber is it's different shades of brown, so it has a nice coloring to it, which is a nice added bonus. I'll also put in where I got this yarn from. Um, if you remember, I got it a while ago over in Seattle. Um, so at South Fork Farms. Anyway, that's what I have for this week. Two blankets and some apaca yarn. Um, and I will see you next time. Bye.